My name is Anil in Nutter Valley. My name is Tasha Lewis and I'm an assistant professor. Fiber science is my main area. And I teach in the area of fashion design management. Tasha has great expertise in the apparel design uh, and I come from the uh, fiber science. So when we decide to throw out a garment, or get rid of it, what happens then? What we, we're looking for as a complete system uh, for utilization of the used apparel. So once we use most of it as a garment, we might not be able to use like the, the parts here at the bottom that have some holes in them. This would probably end up getting shredded. Basically, to me, it's a, it's a fabric shredder. So it's like almost like your paper shredder, but it's a fabric shredder. It's actually sort of, uh, it's around uh, in a different format. But they're large industrial scale fiberizers and they take everything and you just blend it. And it's a mix of things that are maybe used for carpet padding or something like that. We don't have anything that is simple and small one. figure out how to do this for different fibers, um, different fabrics, we can really do something very specific. The next one would take care of almost every fabric. We want it to be more um, customizable by the company based on what they what they have in their, in their inventory. So the speeds will be uh, controlled on that, the number of teeth will be different, the shape of this will be different. The thickness of the, the fabric, you know, if you're dealing with denim versus maybe something that's like a uh, polyester or similar or charmeuse or something that's a lot thinner so maybe having different blades and being able to adjust based on the majority of the fiber that you're putting in there. If we can manage it on one machine by controlling the speed uh, and also interchangeable uh, cutting wheels uh, then we should be able to handle everything on one machine. At the higher level, we'd like to see if we can turn it into a composite, make it something more durable and, and uh, usable for materials that are not necessarily considered apparel. So uh, we were looking at home goods, for example, so if we can do a vase, if we can do something decorative. So that would be ideal and where we could think of a whole product line just made out of reused textiles. Um, some of the other uses can also be uh, geotextiles. Sometimes you can use them to pave roads based on this, the strength of the textile. So we will always be looking at applications that would utilize the fibers in a value-added product. To scale it up, a con uh, companies like H&M, some of the retailers are starting their own take-back programs to take clothing back from consumers. And so that's why it's important to scale because we just have large amounts of consumption and we should have a way of managing that. Then we will have to think about uh, something that is about four times larger. Uh, and that can handle a uh, ton a day. Uh, if there is a need for even larger one, we'll think about that as well. We want to work in the industry, but we also want to think about ways to really improve it. We're definitely not there yet, but I love the idea that we're looking at it critically and we're trying to think of applied solutions, not just, you're doing it wrong and, and we don't like it, change it. But we're saying, you're doing it wrong, we don't like it, and here's how you could change it. <laughs>